Here comes our new memory verse. Matthew 7, 24. This is what Jesus says. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, puts them into practice, is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7, 24. Matthew 7, 24. Matthew 7, 24. Build your life on these words from the Lord. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Like a wise man who built his house on the rock. R O C K on the rock. R O C K on the rock. R O C K on the rock. On the rock. On the rock. Hey Sprouts and Rockets, who is loving our On The Rock series? Let's see if you can remember our memory verse. Why don't you repeat it after me? Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. So good. Who knows that building the house on the rock is the same as building our life on the word of God? Well, today we are gonna have a look at a different kind of house. Let's see if you can guess what type it is. Are you ready? Clue number one, it's tall, it's skinny, it's sometimes colored white or white and red. And final clue is it's found near the ocean. Oh, I nearly forgot. It also has a big light inside. Can anyone guess what it is? If you guess lighthouse, then you are correct. This is a picture of a lighthouse. Now, a lighthouse has to be built very strong because it has to stand in all sorts of weather. It has to be able to take on the rough sea waves and the storms, just like the house on the rock did. But the special thing about a lighthouse isn't just that it stands strong, but because of what's inside it. Does anyone remember what I said was inside the lighthouse? That's right, a big old light. That light is super important because it stops boats crashing into the rocks and sinking. Now we know we need to build our life upon the word of God. And when we do this, he actually pours his light into us. That light helps others just like a lighthouse. Let's read what it says about this in Matthew chapter five, verses 14 to 16. It says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light up a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Okay, I want everyone to say, I am a lighthouse. You know what, even better, I want you all to stand up. That's right, everyone on your feet. And I want you to be a lighthouse. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Oh, wow, there are some pretty funky looking lighthouses out there. Okay, you can sit down. Now that verse in Matthew chapter five said that we are the light of the world. Now, whose light do you think we're meant to shine? Hmm, is it our own? No. What about our best friend's light? No. Whose light could it possibly be? That's right, it's Jesus's light. 
That verse tells us that we also shouldn't hide that light. Imagine if it was really dark and I wanted to use my trusty torch. Wouldn't it be silly to put it behind my back? Or underneath my jacket? Or even to put a blanket over the top of it? That would be ridiculous. The light wouldn't do anything. What is a light meant to do? A light is meant to shine. You see, boys and girls, when we build our life upon the word of God, Jesus fills us with his amazing love and light. That light isn't just for us to feel really awesome and special, but it's actually for the world around us to know how awesome and special Jesus is. Everywhere we go and in everything we do, we can shine the light of Jesus. We can do this especially well when we know what his word says and can share that with those around us. Do you know what, boys and girls? I think our friend Ricky was going to have a big concert today to try and shine Jesus' light. Should we go and check on him? Yeah! When I say Ricky, you say Rockstar! Ricky! Ricky! When I say... Whoa, 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 whoa! Ricky, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm shining, duh! Just like they said on that Nation's Kids video. Oh, Ricky, do you remember whose light was meant to shine? Uh, mine? Because I've been trying so, so, so hard to build my life on God's Word. No, Ricky, not your light, Jesus' light. Oh, yeah. Today's concert has been cancelled, but hold tight. I have something even better in store for you coming up soon. Oh, dear. Ricky got a bit confused, didn't he? He started to get everyone chanting his name instead of pointing them to Jesus. Hopefully, as he goes away and spends some more time building upon the word, he can come back ready to shine the light of Jesus to everyone. Before we go today, Sprouts and Rockets, I want us to pray together. Can we do that? If you want to keep building your life on the word of God and shine the light of Jesus, why don't you close your eyes, open your hands like this and repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Thank you for your amazing word. Please help me to continue to build my life on it. Help me to be a lighthouse for you. Shining your love wherever I go. And everyone said, Amen. See you later, Sprouts and Rockets.